Hi everybody, I hope you've been enjoying your flower week. Um, today, I thought we could read The Reason for a Flower by Ruth Heller. Birds and bees. And bees. And these sip nectar from the flowers. And as they search for more and more, pollen from the flower before goes to the next one they explore. Some pollen travels in the breeze without the help of birds or bees and very often makes you sneeze. From an anther on a stamen to a stigma on a style, pollen grains must travel and stay a little while. And then you'll see the reason for each flower, even weeds. The reason for a flower is to manufacture seeds that have a cover of one kind or another. Some grow inside a juicy fruit, and it's not odd to find them growing in a pod. The largest one is a coconut. Seeds travel far and wide. Some even like to hitch a ride upon a bike or in a shoe. Squirrels hide them and forget they do. Some have burrs that stick to furs and travel at a gallop. Seeds can settle anywhere they find water, sun, and air, and then grow roots and stems and leaves. Some seeds grow up to be trees. These grow where it's very dry. And these grow where it's wet. These may not look like flowers, but they're the most important yet. Rice, barley and corn, and wheat are cereals we need to eat. And millet and bamboo are a treat for animals who don't like meat. They're called herbivorous. Would you believe these plants like to eat meat? They are called carnivorous. The largest flower ever found grows in the jungle near the ground. A parasite cling clinging tight to the roots of trees that feed it, it's three feet wide or maybe four, weighs 15 pounds and sometimes more and has a nasty odor. Rafflesia is its name. It's a hard word. <laughs> but here's a flower that owes its fame to smelling very sweet. And scientists agree that magnolias seem to be a prehistoric family. All flowers are angiosperm. That's an ancient Grecian term. Here are just a very few products made from them for you. Paper and wood and candy and straw and tea and coffee and cotton, popcorn, pasta, chocolate, bread, cork, medicine, perfume, rubber and rope. Plants that have no flowers are fascinating too. This one has become a plum. The end.
hope you enjoyed the book and I hope you keep exploring all the flowers. Have a great day.